This is hydrogen tap, onward and upward. What you're looking at here is what's called a variac. And what that does is vary the AC voltage from the 110 volt, which I'm putting it in. It's not always 110. Matter of fact, we're going to take a reading on that in just a minute. Okay, what you're looking at here is uh, another piece of test equipment I've acquired. Unfortunately, I had a friend of mine who died in the last few days who left me all his test equipment. Very good friend, and so now I have a lot more equipment to work with. I'd rather him be here, but I guess he's here. At least his equipment is here with me. If you look right now, this is a line voltage monitor and you can see the varying alternating current that's coming through the line here. In this case we're actually getting more than 110 volts. So this is summer summer voltage and you can see why you need these voltage regulators how important they are if you have any equipment plugged in, such as your computers, it is varying really wildly on here. So we call it 110 volts here in the States, but actually if you look at it, you can see what it's coming in now, and that's because they're pushing so much through the lines for the air conditioning. So at any rate, what I'm going to be doing is running this Variac and I'm going to run it up to uh, about 110 volts and we're going to take a look and see what it does to the cell. Here's a picture of the cell that I'm using. Actually it's two plates. You can see the plates are made like the Aaron cell which we have a notch in one, one on each end so I've got two connectors on there. And what I have here is distilled water. What we're looking at here, I'm going to put some more water in here just a moment. Okay, I filled, I filled the water up higher than the cell now. So now you can see the two plates. They're placed a sixteenth of an inch apart. And I'm going to be running 110 volts DC. And please note that it's DC. And the reason it's DC is I'm using, it's called a bridge. And I'll show you what that looks like here. This is a bridge and we've got four sides. These two sides are AC in and this is a positive out and a negative out. So you get DC out, positive in. And it's a real easy way to change AC to DC. Okay, so I'm going to start my 110 volt run here. Okay, I'm starting with one point six volts DC, eight volts, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty three. 26.9 volts, 28, 33, 36, 39, there's 40 volts, remember DC not AC, 43 volts, 45, 48, 49, 51, 55.6, 16th of an inch apart. We've got 55 volts in here. 59, 62, 64, 68, 71, 74, 77, 
81, 85, 86, 89, 90. Ninety five, ninety eight, there's one hundred volts. We've got a hundred volts DC and no action, huh? One hundred five. One eight nine one ten. There's a hundred and ten volts DC going through the plates. Get a closer view here. We've got a hundred and ten volts. Hundred eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. There's 120 volts plus 7. 120.7. No action. That's the plates being spaced 1 16th of an inch apart. There's your voltage, 120 point, well, it's fluctuating. And again, there's our line voltage. Now remember the amps, I don't have the amps on this right now. Well, we're not going to get any amps because there's no flow. The current is not going through the water. If you want to write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com, I'd be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com, and see the focus cell that I make and that I'm using in the Honda. Also, if you go to hydrogentap.com, click on YouTube, you'll see all the videos that I've made in order with the latest videos last. I'm getting a lot of people who are coming in late and they're seeing the earlier videos of the original Aaron Cells. If you get a hold of this video, click on, go to hydrogentap.com and click on YouTube and they'll all be in order come a long ways from number 100. We're at over 300 now. Looking at the uh, two plates there with 120 volts, about 120 volts DC going through it. Also, I do have the stainless steel plates up there, 6 by 12, but I'm having to charge a lot for them. And uh, maybe more than I should be charging, but the plates that I get in, I use on my cells. So, between that and the shipping, you may be able to better, get a better deal somewhere else. If you are interested in the Focus cell, you can go to hydrogentap.com and see that. What I'm getting ready to do is up the voltage to the 500 volt range and even higher using transformers. If you follow me, we're going to get this Myers system working. So what you're looking at now is just a small piece of the puzzle. And hopefully this will be working with the focus cell. As I've told you before, the focus cell is designed with the Meyer system in mind. Also, if you go to hydrogentap.com, remember, I do have the chart there with the mileage that I got on the Honda before and after. Again, I want to caution you, if you're putting any of these cells, any, including mine, including anybody's cell in your car, you run the risk 
of doing something to the engine. I have no way of knowing what's going on in that engine. I'm doing it myself because I cannot stand four dollar a gallon gas and it's going to go up higher here. So do this at your own risk. Although that's how the Wright brothers did it. They're my heroes.